All right, guys, welcome back to some more Sons of the Forest. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Now, last episode, I've actually had a couple comments uh, where people were uh, worried about the pace of the playthrough. They're like, oh, dude, it kind of seems like you're rushing through the game. I'm, I'm not rushing through this playthrough whatsoever. I just wanted to kind of make that clear. Um, the reason why we were out, like, trying to push so hard in the caves and stuff is because the difficulty I put the game on, um, you need really good stuff like the enemy's armor is so tight like they're unbelievably tanky i remember when i was doing the hard playthrough before i actually did a custom difficulty and turned down the enemy armor because it gets so absurd you got to shoot him like five ten times with a shotgun just to like break off the armor it, it's absolutely ridiculous uh, but the enemies are so ridiculously tanky uh we needed better weapons so i had to make sure i went out quick got the freaking shotgun i had to get the you know the rifle we so we had to push in those caves and try to get all that gear uh so we could just survive in the game so no yeah i wasn't like trying to push to the end game really really quick i was just trying to secure some better weapons because it, it's pretty it's pretty bad um but yeah the past uh two episodes we did some pretty serious caving we got some good stuff done we got some really cool blueprints too and um Today, I kind of wanted to try to see if we could square away the base a little bit, uh, get that electric fence up, and um, just kind of get our defenses going, see if we could build a few of those new um, recipes that we found, because I have no clue what the hell they are. Uh, but again, I want to thank everybody again for coming and hanging out tonight. Remember, if you guys are enjoying the Sons of the Forest content, all you got to do is smash that like button. Let me know that you guys want to see more. Subscribe to the channel and uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, down below, as you guys know, those comments, they help out so, so, so much. All right, let's get back into this. Go. Leoric Semper 5, brother, how you doing today? Yeah, we're trying to get that electric fence. I actually might need um, a few more solar panels but that, that that that's fine uh if you guys missed it last episode i actually blew the whole front of my base off with some c4 which was not cool but uh i'm actually gonna just in case an attack comes let's go ahead and close the front of the base up i had it open just because it was ease of access for me uh until we get the fence up leave it like this boom and it's done okay so yeah this is our base currently um i'm gonna do just a small perimeter around it for the fence and that should help out a bit uh, food water we're good for it let me break this down Ooh, almost wasted a bullet vin how you doing Okay. Pretty sure we're going to get an attack uh, today at some point. All right, Kelvin, uh, you need to get me some more sticks. Get sticks and fill holders. Yeah, we're, we're going to need a, a lot more sticks. That's 30, 15, 30. Okay, so he's got some space. And we have another empty down here, right? Yep. Oh man, Justino. So are you saying the Metabase Builder 9000 is going to get put to the test? Yes. For sure. I'm showing it off, right? I mean, I already got the Metabase, like, like right here. Like you could just roll with this. You know what I mean? You could easily just roll with this and call it a day. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying to elevate, you know what I mean? I'm trying to e elevate to the to the true meta base builder 9000 all right so let's see here um actually check the book make sure i'm gonna build this electric fence properly So basic electricity. Here we go. So we just build the normal fence. Uh, we put down the power and then, yeah, you just run wire. It's, it's quite simple, actually. All right. So let's start building our fence line.
And we'll start off right here in the back. Now, I don't know how annoying it is. I've never built a fence before, guys. So we're, we're, about, we're about to find out. Make sure his bit stays straight, dude. But just, you know, thank you again, man, for the super chat. I hope you're having a good day today. Showing chat right here. This is how it's done. This is how you, uh, it's how you build them nice fences right here, guys. Those meta fences. Look at all the, look, look, how, look how straight this is. This is just by eye, chat. By eye. Look at that. That's dress right. Dress. I mean, it's got a little... Little, but that's that's character right there. You know, it's it's got a little character to it. That's that's pretty straight, man. We're just like winging it by eye. Uh, we'll go. We'll go one more. We'll go one more. Yeah, that'll give us more than enough space. Keeping my eyes out for any patrols coming my way. I'm going to do one more on this side. Boom. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, I'll switch my, uh, my camera. My camera. There you go. The only thing I'm worried about is the durability of this electric fence. Like, if they touch it, they're already going to get zapped. Is it something that could be overwhelmed? You know what I mean? It, oh, here we go. Calvin, you all right, bro? Sorry he did you like that, man. Came up smack Kelvin right in the back of the fucking head. That's why I tell you guys, you gotta watch your six. Kelvin's over here just, just walking around grabbing sticks. Not even paying attention, dude. Ah, uh, Uro with the 15 months, man. Sorry, Zap. Yo, that's the plan, dude. Ah, uh, George, I'd say I'm winning right now. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Uh, Doug, how you doing today, brother? I appreciate the super chat, man. So straight. It's shocking. Electrifying game. There, that, that's what I'm talking about, Doug. See, right there, that's what I'm talking about, dude. So straight, it's shocking. Electrifying content, lol. There it is. You, you missed some of my amazing... Uh, Jokes I had last night. Somebody actually doubled down on my my joke I said last night when I shot that guy in the ear. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys were here last night for uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior, but I shot a guy in the ear, and uh, you know I, I had I had a pretty good one. I was like, hey, you know, do you guys think he? heard it coming you know what i mean and uh everybody thought it was absolutely just the best ever you know what i mean and uh, who could blame him that was that was so good and uh nobody made fun of it it was just it was just hilarious and um we somebody in the comments was like yeah if he did hear it coming <laughs> if he did hear it coming it went in one ear and out the other and i was like Bro, like you won life, dude. Like, 
I was actually laughing out loud, dude. Like, it was fucking hilarious. That shit was good, man. Like, I need to, I need to pin that comment after this, because that shit was the best fucking comment I've seen in, in a long time. Like, it, it was so good. Let me see. Was this wide enough? Well, I mean, it doesn't got to be perfect. But I want to make sure it's like at least like, yeah, that, that should be about even. Yeah, you guys are going to be proud of the base today. Look, look at it. I mean, I'm already putting in work with this fence, chat. Thing about Sons of the Forest is you actually need roofs. Like, you can't get by without a roof in this game. <laughs> Your base will get full of snow. You'll be exposed to the elements. What? We gotta eat and drink real quick, guys. Monet with the 27 months. Thank you so much. Yeah, you playing this game. I died four times. Yo, it get, it's rough, Monet. It really, really is. Um, it definitely has some really, really rough moments. Let me see. Um... You know what, screw it. We'll just drink this. Okay. And I'll eat an MRE. Yeah, I want to try to craft some of the new recipes today, Dream. That's it. That's exactly what we're doing right now. Um, we're just trying to get I bet the sound was deadly deafening, lol. <laughs> yeah, it was, Doug. Dude, it, it was a good shot, though. I, I, I was happy, man. That game was so fun. Uh, I did not expect it to be like that. It's the, uh, the uh, Ghost Warrior or sniper ghost warrior 3 it's like somebody put it perfectly in the comments they were like it's like if ghost recon wildlands and um far cry had a baby like literally that's what the game feels like it's it's so much fun <laughs> but doug thank you thank you brother i appreciate the love So what, two more? And then over, I believe it should be even. Yeah, that's even. It's even enough. You stupid. know where the hell I was going with that <laughs> I don't know where we were going with that one chat there we go much better it, it was a little it was a little crooked <laughs> it was a little crooked Army Gale, thank you so much. Chet is saying to use stones to reinforce the fence or it won't hold. Oh Jesus Cremesis. Yeah, we could we could work on that. That's a lot of stones. Yeah, I mean it is quite easy to knock over the you st the sticks when they're in the ground like this. Okay, there we go. Oh. 
Then we're gonna need a lot of stones. Chat is saying to use stones to reinforce the fence or it won't hold. Oh, Miguel, again, thank you so much for the super chat. And Lamer Gamer, what is going on? Thank you for the love. How you doing today? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stones, guys. Too bad we don't have my freaking log sled, right? Damn, the problem, I can already see it right now, guys. I'm not going to be able to get this fence done. I'm going to get attacked. And they're going to come and freaking mess my shit up. I can literally feel it. I don't know why, but I can like extra notice the seagulls today. Is it me or are they just extra annoying today? <laughs> was putting in lament flooring for a friend last night. Unable to make it on to watch. Oh, it's all good, brother. It's all good, man. Nah, it, it was a good time, dude. I appreciate you finding time to pop in today. I hope everything went good with the floor. I know, you know, floor is absolutely a nightmare to put in sometimes. I guess it's not too bad. I mean, because of where we live, there's a lot of stone here. So it's quite easy for us to just farm it up. I mean, it is a lot. Good thing I didn't make the fence any bigger. That shit would have been atrocious. If I had my log sled, this would be a little easier too because we could go out and just fill the whole sled up with stones and then come back. But it is what it is. Of course, the night's falling. We're gonna get probably attacked. I almost feel like uh, going and spending the night in the freaking bunkers instead of at my base. That way I don't get attacked in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. At least until my base is put together. So I don't, I don't want them to knock my damn fence over before we get it built. Hold on one sec, Chip. Oh. Somebody was at my front door. Yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. We'll go spend the night at the bunker. I'll, I'll do this last load of stones. We'll go spend the night at the bunker. Yeah, I, my freaking log sled, the nice one too, Chad. The very expensive, nice log sled. Uh, got messed up. We'll, leave, we'll just say that. It just got messed up. Wasn't really nobody's fault. Except, you know, the cannibals. But it did. It got, it got messed up. Go ahead. Probably should have left before it got super dark. That way it's easier to find the damn bunker. Oh, I'm 
not going to be able to gain elevation yet. Wow, it is dark. It is dark, so we're flying blind right now, chat. Literally, I'm staring at a black screen. We'll get there though, right? We'll get there. Hopefully we don't hit a tree. Cause I can't see anything. I don't know if Yep, we're in the trees. We're in the trees. We're in the trees. We're gonna die. Was not fun. The hell? I mean, we all, we we pretty much flew there, guys. That was pretty good. Here's footsteps. Uh, uh, yeah, I got those like Italian sodas. They're like these Italian orange sodas, George. They're freaking super addictive, dude. I was drinking them like every day. I, I, I stopped drinking them for like a week and a half. And I decided I, I, I wanted one. You know what we can do too while we're here? We can make up some more of the arrows. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot I had my night vision goggles. Yeah, that would have been that would have been uh, ideal. It would have been ideal. Fucking sprinklers came on chat because I had my uh <laughs> I had my torch out. Oh, we got 250 in there. Yeah, this, the the sprinklers went on. Do three batches of these. Ooh, actually, just want to double check because I got two key cards. I don't remember if the key card I got opens this place. But Doug, thank you so much again for the super chat, man. I appreciate it, brother. I don't remember if I have access to this place or not. Oh, I do. Okay, we're going to have to come back and clear that out. I'm not going to worry about that one right now. I'm a man on a mission, but I just wanted to make sure we could get in there. Duckman Gamer, what's going on? How you doing? All right, let's grab these. Sheldon, hey, Sheldon, thank you so much, brother, for the five gifted, man. I really, really appreciate that. Would it make more sense to build a raft or a little ship to get out there? <laughs> Yo, Jens, that's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, we all know how bad the ocean is, though. If, if I were to build some type of raft, it wouldn't, it wouldn't last. It, it wouldn't make it, dude. Night vision goggles while flying chat said. 
Everybody received a membership though. Welcome to the fam. Oh, there. Okay, so we're good. Let's get that good sleep. Yeah, we're already on day 23, guys. I wonder why this shit has gotten so difficult. All right, there we go. think this is gonna work. If it does, I'll be super fucking amazed. Hold on, chat. I'm... No, it's too low. It's, like, right there, too. This, trying to trying to show you guys, it doesn't take much to get up in the air. This should be enough. Oh, yeah. So you guys can see, it doesn't really take much. How many blueprints do I have out so far? Out of this, oh, there's 16. Oh, um, maybe like six. I think I might have like six of them. Now, there's a good chance there's still going to be another attack. Should we just say screw it and build another uh, log sled? Could build the cheapy one. Cause this one's 60 sticks. Let's build the cheapy one for right now. This cheapy one can only hold logs. Yeah, right? You can't... Yeah, it doesn't even have a bottom. You stupid cheap-ass log sled, dude. Is there any way to get my sticks back, bro? Nothing like just shitting away fucking 33 sticks. It's not funny, chat. It's 33 sticks just gone.
like I said, I do enjoy um, how easy, though, it is to kind of get rocks here. You know what we need in Master Chat? We gotta get good with the slingshot, man. I wonder if you could actually kill things with the slingshot. Probably not on this difficulty, but that would be clutch, just being able to just use the slingshot. Virginia was here last night right when I left and now she's gone again. Need a trapper inside the base. <laughs> she can't fucking leave. coming I'm also gonna I gotta build some rain collectors too. We got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff we gotta get going, Chad, yeah, like tons. I'd like to get most of this. I would like to get most of the base done before winter comes again. So do you guys think all the hard work we're putting into this fence is going to be worth it? Some people saying nope, some people saying yeah. What is it, Jet? I was gonna get wiped on the first attack. I thought that's why I was reinforcing it. And it's electric, so they shouldn't be able to just beat on it like a normal fence. They should hit it and, and, and get electrocuted. We need 
the traps too. Yeah, that's what I'm, I plan. I, I got, I'm going to move these traps. Oh, well, the traps that I had are no longer a thing. Um, yeah, about that. Forgot the C4 must have got those too. We're almost there, chat. We're almost there. Never built anything like this in this game, so... I'm hoping that it's freaking worth it. Yes, but you'll need traps too. Again, Justin, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Chris with the super chat, man. Holy crap. Um, let's go and build up that. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying to get it up, built up nice, nice. Uh, we're trying the electricity system in the game now. See if we can get an electric fence. Okay. I think that's the whole thing. Yep, this whole thing reinforced. All right, now it's stick time. Now we actually have to build the fence. Oh, there's Virginia. Okay, so I got to figure out how I want this to go. We'll have the entrance... Be like right there, so we'll leave this. And this will also, I still want to have like a, an actual wall around the base too. So even this, I think we're gonna build on top of. Brian, how's it going? Build up that camp. And no motion. What's going on, brother? Thank you for the uh, fence. Only stuns them. First defense. You should have built that much farther away from your house. Break right through it. Fence only stuns them. First defense. You should have built that much further away from your house. Because the big ones break right through. Of course it does. Of course, cause cause you know I'm building it and I'm I put fucking all this time and effort into it. Of course it would fucking suck actual balls.
No more. Thank you for the super chat, brother. And uh, Chris, uh, easiest way to test the fence, uh, right, Calvin? <laughs> Walk into the fence. <laughs> hey, Calvin, let me let me let me know how the fence is, dude. Easy way to test the fence. <laughs> right. Kelvin walk into fence. If, if, if I was able to do that, chat would definitely never let. They would add that to the list. That would, that would get added to the list of things I've done. Now, the only thing, Lee, about the big cross is the big cross... Well, a cross only works against the demons which is a, only the one type of mutant so in my opinion is it is it even worth it because i have i haven't been attacked by demons yet i get attacked more by the the other dudes than the demons What FOV am I using? I got it pulled out to probably about 90 something. It, it, it's, it's pulled out pretty far. I do it for, uh, it makes it easier for you guys to view when the FOV is bigger on the game, uh, less uh, motion sickness for people who have a hard time watching first person games. So that's why generally you'll see me pull my FOV out pretty far. I, I pull it out as far as I can without the game looking like a start looking fishbowl-y and even this one is starting to have a little bit of fishbowl to it, but not, not, not anything really all that noticeable. wasn't completely even it's all good out maybe this will create like a funnel point for them to try do, is that how that works chef i leave an opening in the fence do you guys think that'll create like a funnel point for them to try to go through because if so that's where i could lay my traps Calvin, what the fuck, bro? Get this thing wired up. put the battery right 
Okay. Let me grab our wire. I'm gonna have enough wattage, or should I do two of them? That's the only thing I'm worried about. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough wire to finish this whole thing. Definitely wasn't enough. Uh, so we got to like daisy chain a few of these together. That's pretty sick, guys. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Damn, I'm out of wire. Um, I can open up some of these skin pouches. Never thought wire would be like a resource I needed like that, you know what I mean? Because, it, like, before, it, it just was not really much of a thing. Okay, a couple more things of wire, that's it. You stupid bitch. No, we're not going to play this game. Come on, dude. Jens, what do you mean, what is the base used for? Like, same as any uh, survival game. Storage, uh, crafting, building, or, you know, all that, well, all that stuff. No, it seems like Kelvin and Virginia can freaking just go right over the fence, no problem. Yeah, they just jump right over it. I'm the one that got freaking zapped. Uh, we gotta, we gotta boil up some water real quick.
But now we gotta get more wire. You know what? We could boil up some some chicken. Kelvin and Virginia will well, be toasted, meat. slightly smiling face. <laughs> Mosa, thank you so much for the super chat. Ah, oh, Jiga, I'm glad I could be here for you. I hope everything's going good. I hope you're feeling good today. Seriously, I appreciate the loves. All right, so we got that food boiling up. We're super thirsty right now. I don't want. I don't want to drink. Uh, another energy drink right now. I feel like it's a waste. Damn, you actually get a decent bit of hydration from those berries. So, you know what I'm about to do, chat? Whoop, not that. Put it back because it says something's broken. There we go. I'm gonna snag the wire from in here because realistically, I'm not even using the uh, the lights in here, and I could use the wire outside. to target just that. Okay, cool. Yeah, just the only one I can't seem to grab is this one. And I think maybe because it goes upstairs.
Okay. Yeah, they went to the part that wasn't electrified immediately. So yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta get some more z z juice on that. Uh, the one they got shocked, but then as soon as it shocked them, it like powered down. So I think we need some more power. But it seemed like it, it held quite well. This one. I'm wondering if I should do another circuit for this side, but I don't have enough wire, so it doesn't matter. We'll just tie it all in for right now, and I think later on I might split the circuit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll do one more, even. Keep hitting that instead of the inventory button. Alright, man, that's got some juice, chat. That's definitely got some juice. That's a lot of juice. And I mean, technically I could tie anything else electrical that we need into that. Uh, we're just gonna need more, we just need more wire. All right, so my shit on the inside should be done. Yeah, I definitely need to get a, a log wall going too. Can, oh, can you electrify the log wall or only the or only the fence? Okay. 
Okay, I'll put us in a good spot. Virginia, how the hell did you get in here? Damn, now it's dark again. But we can do like chat said. We're on the nods. Way too much fucking heat on that. Me, what's up, brother? How you doing? Nah, we haven't eaten Calvin yet. Nah, I mean, I mean, I'm, not yet. I, I mean, I don't plan on eating him. That's our boy. He's picking up the sticks for us, Caspi. With that caca fuego, you know. And yeah, this was this has become my strat, guys, to avoid getting seeds. I wonder if we should push that that bunker now. We are super tired. I wonder if we can get some more wire out of there, though. That, that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to look for more resources. I think, I think you get chainsaw out of this one, too. Nah, Caspi, I gotta, I gotta delegate that, dude. I can't, I can't be caught out here picking up sticks no more, man. That caca fuego.
Not really much in here except for some energy drinks and shit. Max, I mean, if someone's if someone's brand new to the channel, right, and this is their first time ever seeing me, and they pop in and they hear me talking about that Caca Fuego, they are they know, dude. It's just it's the international. It's like like everybody knows that shit's going down. If it, if it has anything to do with the Caca Fuego. The second they would hear like that, I, you know, that I'm even preaching that caco fuego, they would instantly be like, subscribe, dude. Like, Probably could just sneak around all these dudes. I've never tried. I always killed them because you can farm them for freaking the skin. But now that these mutants don't even give the skin anymore, there's really no point in killing them. Oh, that dude's up here now? I am heading out, Brian. Have some places to run. Hopefully, I'm back to continue watching. If not, I will catch you on the next one. Hope you are feeling better. C-A-C-A-F-U-E-G-O. Come on, Streamlabs, it's Caca Fuego. She's acting like she doesn't know, Chad. She's sus. Hey, no motions. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate the love, dude. I hope you have a good rest of your day if I don't see you later.
Stream Labs over here acting brand new, chat. What am I playing tonight? Um, I'm not sure because I was supposed to do two streams last night, but I was actually dying. Had the worst headache I've had in a very long time. That shit was a full-blown like migraine, I would say. Like yeah, that shit was terrible, chat. It was terrible. And uh, but I'm thinking maybe uh, dying light two might might keep that going. We only got like four games in, in like actual rotation right now. It's like Dying Light 2, this game, uh, Banishers, and um, the hell is the fourth game there, chat? Uh, in this game. Yeah, Sons of the Force. Those are like the only four games that are actually full fledged in rotation. And this guy's career, chat. And with the arrow to the knee, baby. No, yeah, our test stream for Final Fantasy Caspi was not was not that great. Uh, first stream, I think. For the first like two hours, we were struggling even to hit 400 viewers, and then we we got we eventually got up to about 400. But yeah, if you go look at it for an episode one, yeah. So if you take into the normal 50% viewership drop uh, from between episode one and episode two on average, uh, we'll be we'll be we'll probably be struggling to get about we'll be struggling with about 200 viewers. <laughs> Beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs. C A H C A H Fu Wei. Go beer mugs, beer mugs, beer mugs. <laughs> and melodic, thank you so much for the super chat. She still didn't want to say it, dude. She still didn't want to say it. Hey, Brian, just wanted to pop in and say hello. Had to go down south near Boise for a funeral. Hope all is well. Hug your loved ones close. Hey, Tim, I hope you. Hey, thank you, thank you for popping in. I hope your day's going well. That's definitely not a good time to go any, anywhere for a funeral, man. I'm sorry to hear that. But I hope the day's going well. And uh, again, I appreciate you popping in, showing that love. Well, family's all that matters, dude. Uh, heavens, it, it's... There, there is a, a line you draw with like when it comes to spoilers like for instance banishers start off really 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 strong and then a lot of the viewers were like nah dude i actually want to play this game and the viewership died down a bit but it still was decent you know what i mean even if you go look at my last my episode 10 of banishers which is a game that are people are definitely avoiding for spoilers did better than my episode one of final fantasy so it just goes to show it's and I and this, we've had this conversation before Final Fantasy on my channel just doesn't do well We tried Final Fantasy 16. We tried Final Fantasy 7 the first bit of the remake We've tried it plenty of times and it just it's the same story over and over again. So um, I had a feeling that was gonna happen um, But 
I was like, you know what? Maybe the reason why Final Fantasy VII did bad was because I didn't play it. I played it so far away from the release, you know, that the hype had died down. People really didn't care. So I was like, let me play this one closer to release. And it just it didn't make any difference. It didn't make any difference. Nice, got a guitar. Kaka Fuego. <laughs> You guys really trying to get her to say Caca Fuego? That was, she said Caca Fu Fuego. I mean, there it is. She did, she did say it. <laughs> All right, Miguel, thank you, thank you for the love. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are so, you guys do, you guys are too much. Kaka Fuego. Bad pivot squeaky shoes. Hey you. Uh, pornographic what? Oh, with the super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. Kaka Fu Egg O. Fu Egg O. <laughs> I don't know why she's not hip with it, guys. Let's see, get some more change, too. Oh, here we go. So we got a map here that shows all the bunkers now. So I wonder if that's going to transfer over to my handheld. Oh, uh, Holly, you were trying to get... Yeah, so I have a... I had to change it a while back, man, because I used to have the talk to text or the talk to... Um, tech, yeah, pretty much text to talk for every donation but what ended up happening was trolls you know people will troll for a dollar easy so people were just typing all types of shit trying to get the bot to say just the most reckless so i was like if people are gonna at least troll like i'm gonna try to deter them by making it uh five dollars because people are less willing to throw away five dollars you know what i mean then and then then throw away a dollar so that that's that's why ultimately i made that All right, so we got all three key cards now. On a lighter note, beer mugs, 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 beer mugs. Tim, thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate the love, man. Got you. Got to have them beer mugs, dude. You got to have them beer mugs. Uh, maintenance bunker B. I wonder if, uh, what if our text to chat lady would, uh, 
Remember, I don't know if you guys ever seen that Siri video where they, they made Siri say like zero 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 like and they made a beat out of it. That shit was actually hilarious. You, nobody, you don't have to actually do it, chat, but like I was just saying, that shit it was actually hilarious. Don't waste your money, guys. George with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. If they're out of concoction that you brew, uh, drink, trip on, and you wake up all the POIs, enemy types, is your base completely ran? Yo, that would be crazy, dude. But this, this is going to be interesting. Imagine they add a concoction that you brew, drink, and trip on. When you wake up, all pois, enemy types, and your base have completely random seated. <laughs> Instead of POI, like, like, come on. She said pois. But I think I think we need to we hire a new a, a new Streamlabs chat because our she ain't cutting it. <laughs> wow. There it is. I don't know why. Like, I shot that guy in the face, and all of a sudden, like, I don't know if you guys remember that commercial from back in the day. That was like, plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Just popped in my head. It might be a bit before you guys' time. Most of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Glade plug-in memories triggered. There it is. <laughs> I mean, you talk to these the, the new generation chat, you say the word commercial, they're like, what, what's that? What's a commercial? And I'm like, um, I don't know, like like I don't I don't know how to put it in your in an ad, and they're like, oh, an ad? Okay, yeah, yeah. Man, how do you not know what a fucking commercial is, dude? I do not know what a commercial is. Cereal contains unique anti-aging properties. The new age generation, they're they're missing out. You know, them commercials back in the day, they used to be caca fuego chat. For a 
select few. Built by visionary billionaire Edward Tufton, Paula Spring offers unparalleled comfort and luxury. The island is rich in a special material known as solophyte. This material contains unique <gasps> Ancient texts describe a cube constructed from this material. According to these texts, the cube activates at specific, previously unknown intervals. Recently, our researchers have deciphered its activation cycle and anticipate the activation will amplify the youth-giving properties of the solophyte. Reset your body and yourself. Time is running out. Book your place now. Hollow Springs, timeless luxury. Timeless Chainsaw. Welcome to Hollow Springs, a safe underground community for a select few. Built by visionary billionaire Edward Hufton. Hollow Springs offers unparalleled comfort and luxury. Man, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Is rich in a special material. Destiny 2, so I'm back at Starfield. Did any uh, power quest bug out for you? Um, not that I remember, Val. I, I, don't, I don't recall any of them bucking out. For the most part, I, I was able to get every. I was able to get them all. Well, actually, no. So let me rephrase that. Um, I didn't grind the powers uh, over and over again. I grinded the um, like the actual levels, but I used a mod to give me the powers because I wasn't gonna go hit two hundred and forty-seven temples. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Whoa. Whoa! Look at his arm. It's not safe here. You're running out of time. It's gonna happen again. You have to leave. His arm looks straight. Kaka, fuego. Let me switch to this. That was Timmy, yeah. Just in with the super, super, the Super Bowl, the Super Chat. I read Super Bowl, Super Bowl commercials twenty to twenty five years ago were Caca Fuego. Really? Do <laughs> so you think she's gonna say it? Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. put some armor on right I mean I was saving my armor for the puffins so I actually won't put armor on right now throw a, little, throw a little bone on actually we'll throw a little bone on should we go hit that puffin fight today Commercials 20 to 25 years we ago go. were super caca f way go. Oh no, dude, f way go. <laughs> but there we got caca down though. If you so, if you do k a k a, she that she will say caca. Oh, we got more sulfite here too. Oh, yo, that's what we needed to do was store the sulfite I had so I could mine more. So yeah, I think if you do kaka, like K-A-K-A, -A, fue, as in, yeah, the P-H-E-W, and then go, there it is. I don't know if she said fuego. 
Did, did anybody ever... I think she just spelled it out. Damn falls already setting in, guys. We're gonna have to come up here to get some elevation. Right on this waterfall. Should be able to take off from here. We got this open area here to gain elevation and fly back to base. This is definitely the meta mode of transportation, chat. Like, the meta mode of transportation. Oh, Justina, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. For science, chat. <laughs> I don't know if she'll say it, dude. We'll see. And George, brother, with the super chat. Oh, man, that's going to be a hell of a TTS. She, she's lagging. She's lagging behind. I told you this. For science chat, Kaka Fuego. There it is, dude. <laughs> there it is. Uh-oh. Cock cough, fuego, beer, 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 oh, beer, 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 cock cough, fuego, sign of the horns, medium light skin tone, 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 sign of the horns. <laughs> How are you guys out here trying to break her, dude? All right, so we got that, Chad. We got the, um, let's see here. So we didn't get, like, any wire, which I don't even know where we're supposed to go for wire, Chad. I wonder if you can craft wire. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to try out, uh, one being the smelter. So let me see here. So the smoke shows the, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, enemy camps. The, the enemy camps, yeah. So how big? Oh, so this isn't even all that big. Okay, so we could do our... Thinking if we do a bunch of traps.
We could do... Let me see. So we got, let me let me figure out these damn traps, guys. Let me see. Let me see. What do we got trap wise? Um, we got the fly swatter, spring trap, pokey pokey. Did you guys say a really good one was the uh, spinning trap or some shit? I don't think I have that one. What the hell is this though? What is this chat? Cause this looks caca fuego. What the hell is it? 65 sticks? Uh, it actually needs a knight V in the crafting, which is pretty, pretty wicked. Let's see. 60 fucking sticks, dude. God damn you fucking bitch. Sorry, Calvin. Yeah, this thing is super expensive. And I gotta use my Knight V in the crafting recipe. I actually had two of these stones at base. Forgot. Sakari with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Watch Madam Web. It was pretty decent. I've actually... I've never heard of that. Is that a movie? Y'all yeah, remember, I live, I live under uh, the YouTube rock, so... <laughs> I miss out on pretty much everything. Okay, so now we need, what, two half-logs. It's a new Marvel movie? I've never seen that. Got bad reviews. Paul with the 27 months. Thank you so much. Uh, do not turn the smelter on until you're protected. It's brutal. And the helicopter chapter is amazing. Cause I need this the, the the smelter in order to do the cellophite, right? Oh, that was a stick tree. Modern axe hits so much harder than that little axe. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be playing Hellblade too. I don't know when that game comes out. Yeah, we are we are getting quite hungry. I got some more soup uh, back at home. We can eat up. Just wanted to get this. May. Build a grinder trap so you can run around it. Don't build it against a wall or something. Oh, really? Is that what I'm building right now is the grinder trap? Yeah, that shit went extra far, dude. Try this again. Oh, the zip lines. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, we went, we went off with the zip lines before. Now it's not even, you don't even, I mean, if you wanted to, you could still do the zip lines. Uh, they're quite cool, um, but super, super not necessary anymore, especially with the, the way they got the, um, the glider and stuff. It's just, it's top tier, dude. That glider is so easy to get around the map now. Use this. Yeah, the grinder straight up caca fuego, or the the glider. Maybe put Kelvin to logging duty. Yeah, we probably need to get him getting more logs for us. All right, Night V, I'm sorry. I got to sacrifice you for this contraption here so we could see what the hell this thing's all about. Yeah, I've never seen this before, Chet. This is... This is new. That's cool. Oh shit, we don't got no fucking wire, dude. Damn, we need three wire for this. Well, we're gonna have to peel back the uh, the electric fence a little bit. Just two layers. I had tons of extra batteries, and now I I have none. I don't want to take apart one of those. I'll check inside. I, I don't think I have any batteries on my shelves. I, I, we can go find some. That they, they, you can generally find them in the back of the golf carts. So let's eat real quick. My dude's starving. Pretty down two freaking... Down to two uh, things left. I'm almost out of raw meat, too. We're actually out of raw meat. I, I think I have a little bit drying. It's gonna be a rough winter. Tell you what, dude, it's gonna be a real rough winter at this rate. Oh yeah, we got a little bit. Okay, we we do we got a little bit of meat here. Let's go grab some batteries real quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, Val, you got to be careful, man, because that's what actually burnt me out on Starfield, man. I was I was good. Um, the the honestly to give you uh, if you want to do new game plus like new game plus and having the powers and shit is the way you want to play the game. I advise you to like do the bare minimum in the game. Like don't do any side quests, don't do any main quests, like or just play through the main quest um, as fast as you can. Don't do any of the side content. Don't do anything until you new game plus, and then. Do your full playthrough of Starfield because if you if you do everything on your first playthrough and then you want a new game plus, when it comes back around to doing your your full playthrough again, you're gonna be so fucking burnt out, dude. You're not gonna want to do it, and that's what happened to me. Is I got so burnt out doing with the new new game plus grind that um, when it came time to do like a full playthrough, I had already done all the side factions. I had already done it all, and I didn't want to do it again. It was like for what you know what i mean it's not like the missions really changed there was no choices or you know so yeah it was uh it was rough man so yeah be careful though on that new game plus grind this shit is rough dude but yeah the the the, the new game plus uh ship maxed out is super dope that thing is awesome um, and the arm is pretty damn cool, too. I, I really enjoyed the armor. No, that's not what happened with Elden Ring, uh, Caspi. Um, because I was enjoying playing Elden Ring as a mage. Um, it just started to die off. Like, we had played it so much. And, you know, we were trying to just play other things. And, uh, the, yeah, the series just kind of died off a bit. I mean the temples are grindy dude. It is it is boring. I did it for one new game plus I, I did I did the temples in my first playthrough. Um got all the powers and then I went ahead and on my first new game plus I went and did the temples again and I was just like nah fuck this dude like this shit is so boring. Um so I, I didn't I, I I just downloaded the mod that automatically gives you the level 10 powers because I was not Gonna sit there and grind out all those temples, dude. Yeah, it just was not fun. some more Elden Ring, Gatsby. Yeah, we're going to be playing some more Elden Ring because the DLC comes out in a few months. So a bit before that drops, we're going to go ahead and uh, get back into the game, kind of just get everything going, and then we're, we're going to jump into the DLC. Because obviously Elden Ring's a game that takes a little getting used to again. All right, so I think there was golf carts here on this airstrip, if I'm not mistaken. Scared the shit out of me, stupid-ass raccoon. You're on Xbox. I hear you there, brother. Really. Nah. Honestly, um, some of the plus ten powers are actually broken. Like they they they're not they don't run. Like if you use the slow time uh, ten power, it actually glitches out your game. At least on PC, it did. I don't know. They probably fixed it by now. But Ooh, we need that. We need that right there, chat. That's big dinner. Let's see if we can get this moose.
There it is. Drop the big boy. Oh, nice. And you get two animal eyes. Look how much meat you get. That is what's up. All right, let's see if we can find a golf cart. Bat yep, here we go. I had a feeling we'd be able to find some of these batteries here. We shot him right through his through it. Yeah. Fucked up, bro. Oh, your your whole arm, dude. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? Uh. You need deer to make Virginia nice bed winking face. See what happened to your fucking boy? I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Think about that again next time. We had to send her to the land of the Caca Fuego. But Mosa, thank you, thank you for the super tip. Yeah, I, I plan on making the nice bed at some point. Uh, but yeah, we we were having a hard time getting the animal pelts. But I just got a couple right there from the moose. Got enough batteries here. Would have fought those dudes, but no reason. We 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 we, we got to get back, guys. Got to get this damn thing built. Monster Zero, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. And also, Monster Zero, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. I really appreciate you, brother. And I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I hope you're having a good day today. No quest markers in the temple didn't spawn. Um, so Val, actually, I don't think, I think you can't get all the powers on one playthrough. I think there's a couple of the powers that you have to get on like a, another playthrough. I don't remember though. But if anything, when you do New Game Plus, you'll be able to, you'll be able to get them again if they didn't show up in your first playthrough. I don't remember though. I remember I had the same issue with the powers not showing up. They're t I think they're tied to something, dude. I forgot what it was.
islands, man. I mean, we got lucky with that group. I was able to. I was able to run. Uh, run some pretty good tactics against them, but I, I, I think we just got lucky there. High four. The J Daddy, what's going on? Recently playing. Yeah, I listen. When I played the Division Two, I thought the game was phenomenal. Uh, especially like the DLC going back to New York and stuff. Uh, I, I absolutely love Division 2. Dude, we are so high in the air, dude. What if there's a skybox in this game? Oh, Jay Daddy, I appreciate that, brother. But the skybox would have to be pretty high because this mountain is absolutely ridiculously high. See, I don't, I, uh, I don't remember what I did then, Vale. I think I just freaking, I, I, honestly, I think I was missing a couple of powers. And then I, I just modded it. When I used the mod, I got them all. But yeah, you said you're on Xbox, so that's, I mean, aren't they supposed to have mods coming to Xbox for that soon? There it is. So do I got to hook up a solar panel to it? Because that wasn't part of the... Or does it already work? Monster Zero, hey, the fam is doing good. I, I appreciate you, man. I really appreciate you for asking. Yeah, we're doing good, dude. We're doing good. Weather outside today is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, we, are we I, I, do I got to hook up? A, uh, I, I don't know. It doesn't say I have to hook up anything to it, but. Oh, the night uni runs it? Okay. We're gonna go to sleep. It's gonna be our first night sleeping here. Hopefully it's not too bad. Actually, let me see. You guys were talking about the spotlights too, right? Yo, the spotlights would be clutch. To aim down at this side where that trap is. Let me see my book real quick. I had a spotlight. This, right? Where the fuck is this thing aiming? Okay, once again, we're going to be running low on wire. Chat, where, where, where do you farm wire? Like, where, where do you guys go to farm up a ton of wire? Okay. 
campsites. Oh, I gotta feed power to this thing, don't I? Damn it. Pretty sure we're gonna have to feed power to these. Um... In the morning, we can head back over to the 3D printer. I think I had a couple solar panels in there. We got more light bulbs, which is not the issue. But yeah, the damn solar panels are going to be the issue. Nice. Survived the night. No attack. how fast we already blew through all that water chat that, that we, we made 20 freaking trips for <laughs> just gonna boil up some normal water right there got this raw meat we gotta oh I almost forgot about that see yeah I get I get super super distracted because I'm an idiot, and um, I always lose track of like, my train of thought, and I knew I had all this meat on me, and that shit would have went bad. No, don't eat the damn fish. It's going to drain my thirst. Here we go. Uh, is this game as good or better than the first game? Oh, yeah, it is now. Yeah, for sure. When it first came out, it was pretty bare bones. Um, you know, obviously it was early access, but uh, they definitely built on this game a ton. Yeah, it's, it's, it's way better than the first game, in my opinion. I still like the cave network that the first game had. I, I felt like it was really, really cool how they, they had, like, the connecting cave networks and shit like that. Um, and there was a, a, a real big, like, fear... Uh, the first game felt a bit more horror at points, but no, they, they definitely did a good job with this one, too. It's There's so many parts of the game now that are way better than the first one. Uh, it's one of the best, probably fully fleshed out survival games I've played, where you really feel like everything you do in the game feels so immersively realistic, you know? Uh, you know, when it comes to, like, drying meat and the way the building is done, and it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh. That bird, did it hit my electric fence? Oh. Ah! Ow. <laughs> I think the bird hit my fence. So this is our bad our baby here. Um we gotta go out we gotta go out and find some more um wire and stuff. So we're gonna oh big attack, big attack. Let me see if I can lure these dudes over here. Come on. Come on. Solar panels at the military camp to
Okay, I mean, it slowed him enough. Definitely slowed him enough. That was a pretty big group, man. The only downside, like I said, we couldn't get him to this side where a big trap is. So I think the first thing we might do is log this side just to make it so they try to try to force him over to the other side. So I'm gonna, I, mean, I want to empty out my inventory because we're going to be going to these camps. So I want to make sure that I have plenty of space. This is going to be saved. For the Puffton fight. Guys, you remember the uh, the grocery store we built in our first ever playthrough of this game? Part of the uh, electric fence is broke. I'll go check that. Keep one of these on us. right there yep at least the wire just goes on the ground when they knock it off all right we're good yeah the good thing you, you said that because that my whole fence was off because it's a continuous chain and as soon as that is broken the rest of the fence is powered down so Those are all old. Drop, yeah, we'll drop the vodka too. Inventory should be empty enough. Yep, that was scooped. Let's grab a drink. Calvin's just sitting in the fire.
Actually, if I switch off this, it's going to drop. Yep, it's going to drop the spear. Let me go store two spears. We'll grab those extras out there. Nope, there's another one. Where'd it go? Could use the meat, man. So we got we got a we got a meat farm here now, chat. We, <laughs> the birds they land on a fence, zap. There it is. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, is it not killing them? I think it's just zapping feathers off them. Yeah, look at that. It just zaps feathers off them. All right, let's head out. Hopefully we can get all the resources we need. That thing just... It's a nice little feather farm we got there. Too bad stone arrows are actual garbage. We also did find all of the bunker locations, too, from that little map. Oh, those are golf carts there. Food. Am I planning on making other outposts? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Oh, damn. So if I were to try to hit that camp, there's a lot of them there, guys. So we're looking for, like, the vacant human camps, right? Not hitting cannibal camps. Like that. Actually, able to get some batteries. Well, the cannibal camps are going to be a pain in the ass and expensive. Got another pot. Yeah, the goal is actually to keep the pot on me going forward, like to just always have a pot. That way we can boil water on the go. Like right now I can just scoop some water out of here. Throw some stick down. Boil this bad boy up.
these guys are aggressive as fuck now. They, they I'm on. It's, it's on site for them, chat. Legit on site. group of them. <laughs> ah, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Shut up. to yourself bro didn't have to be like this I was just trying to boil my fucking water in peace chat and you see what happened Get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a... Uh... graves here have I ever played Turpin I've never even heard of that legendary Casper how you doing and most of with the super chat brother uh, when you're able to upgrade your weapons cannibal camps will be uh, easy golden weapons are much better that's uh, that's what I'm hoping for but I think I, I need to build that smelter right in order to uh, do the golden stuff yeah we we got we got to get that we got to get that rolling chat for sure when you you are able to upgrade your weapons, cannibal camps will be easy. Golden weapons are much better. Your footsteps, I don't know if it's cannibal stock in me. Ah, uh, there we go. Got some wire out of that. Muddy. Them. Hopefully that's enough to get them to leave me the fuck alone.
Okay, we only got one little bit of wire out of that, unfortunately. A lot of raccoons up here. Uh, not necessarily done with it, Val. The, the the problem was is we you know we we were playing it for like four months and I'm still so far off from beating that the island um, that. I wasn't able to keep up when all these other survival games came out. So now it's just like we have this endless list of new survival games or updates to survival games that keep coming that just keep pushing it back. But once I get into a position where it's like, you know, we got nothing else really on the, we could go back into it. But yeah, it, um, it definitely got sidelined. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're just looking for little spots like that, guys. I don't think this camp has what we're looking for, but we'll check. Scared the fuck out of me. I was like, what the hell is that noise, dude? <laughs> Got some rope. Not much. I wasn't digging up graves. I was just digging a hole in the ground. It's different. Look at them all. Oh, that guy's got the freaking uh, boat motor or whatnot. And it. Seems like they all. Nope, the guy's down there. I mean, a lot of them patrolled out of the camp. We can. I think we're clear.
good. Come on, get up there, get up there. There it is, baby. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Yesterday was less. I thought you know that shit makes no sense. Well, because I didn't log it. Huh? I didn't log it as a workout. Oh. Uh, I didn't log my first workout. We cleared out that camp pretty easy, Chad. Let's see if we can do maybe another one. Yeah, we could do this one here too. See, I built a base here before. This is where my base used to be. We had a nice big one. There's actually two camps here. There's one up there too. Females, trolling male, big guy. We could get a good shot on the big guy. We'll be okay. Dinner ideas? Uh, I have no clue. Oh, that caca fuego. Fire Trying to see if I can flank around here, get a shot on the big dude, and then we'll clear the rest of the camp out. He's the most annoying one out of all of them. That guy's gonna be annoying too with that all that armor on. How much rifle ammo do I have? Twenty shot. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good, Chad. We got we got ammo. There he is. Oh, he fucking ate that shit? Okay, we dropped him. Yeah, he's down. Eat that caca fuego.
Yeah, get a good bit of wire here. Um, I got a bit of extra bone, so let me go ahead and do some bone armor. Did you ask the kids? Yeah, now you know how I felt, bro. Damn big group. There we go, chat. It's pretty damn dark. It's about to get pretty damn dark. I mean, that went pretty well. I feel like we, we, we cleared that camp out pretty, pretty good. I only used a few bullets at the end there. We got a little more wire. More light bulbs. I'm up to, yeah, five bits of bone armor, which is pretty good. 
Ropes are looking good. Layers. I'm worried about going to sleep just due to the fact that, uh, it's clean water, actually. I don't want to deal with another attack. But it is what it is. Bound. Yep, there it is. Well, yeah, the fence does seem to be working pretty decent. It's just like a it, it's enough to hold them back, you know, stun them for me to line up shots and stuff. So, the only thing I'm worried about is ammo. I am almost out of shotty. Probably should re-equip the stun gun. Okay. So we'll do the smelter. Uh, yeah, we got we got space right here. <clears throat> oh, wrong thing. Okay, so we need seven rocks. 11 sticks, 3 turtle shells, 4 batteries, and 3 wire. Alright, so let's go do this. Okay, I wonder, can you send rocks down the zip line? Probably not, right? Uh, spotlight's not finished because I need another solar panel. Yeah, I need power for it. I mean, I could run more wire, but uh, it's not worth... Oh, you can. Uh, it's not worth the wire right now because um, I want to get this smelter done. Hold on. You know what? Screw that. Why don't I just do this? The smelter attracts enemies like crazy, really? Why is it like a real big base upgrade to them? They consider that oh, it's loud and bright.
There it is. Yeah, so the reason why I did that is all these rocks spawn here, so... Instead of having to walk him back down, we could just pick him up, throw him on the zip line, and be done with it. like a dinner bell now is it like that only when you use it or when you build it am I gonna play winter survival um I, f I feel like that why does that sound so familiar I don't think I mean I I'm down to try almost every survival game you know what I mean um, okay, we need two more batteries. It's a lot of power. Uh, I don't know if the golf cart area had more. Let's tell Kelvin to stay at base. This keeps following me around. Tell him to finish the structure. Never mind, Kevin. Just, just, just stay here, dude. Only when you use it. Okay. Uh, we got to get some more batteries, though. Food Bunker had... Uh, that was close. I almost bot <laughs> bottomed out right there. Food Bunker had a couple golf carts at it. And then the other bunker... Uh, over near the river had some golf carts in it, so... We'll check those two spots, see if we can get those batteries. One. Come on. Seriously? This should be enough, right? Oh, got it. Whew.
How many hours do I have on this game? Uh, I don't know. Probably a couple. Like, maybe 100 or so. 150, maybe. I've been playing it ever since... Uh, ever since it released on Early Access. Added a bunch of stuff up there. Lots of loot by the lake and the mountains, too. Yeah, the, you know what? The mountains actually is somewhere I don't go very often, Amber. That is a very good point. I, I never go up to that snow biome. And I know there is quite a few camps because we hit a couple of them uh, a few episodes ago. So it's over here. Yep, down this way. Nice. Two batteries right there. Okay, so we got the battery batteries. We just needed a few more sticks, which we have. Make a sled and ride down the mountain. That damn sled. I was so mad. I, that that I'm, that sled has forever burned me. Because I remember when the game first came out. Uh, I went and I spent a thousand resin, chat. Those the sleds were not cheap. I spent a thousand resin for that damn sled. And it was terrible. It was like literally terrible. It's a small camp. Let's clear this one real quick. We can get elevation here again. No point in wasting a bullet on her. <clears throat> uh, is this game worth buying? Oh, yeah. This game is amazing. It's one, e easily one of the better survival games out there. I didn't even realize we had this many skin pouches, chat. I am really low on ammo. I didn't even realize. Use the t the stun gun with like a melee combo instead of using my regular bullets. Just get out of here though. It's fully looted. Is the game still only $30 even in full release? Yeah, it's still only 30 bucks. That's crazy. Well, granted, yeah, I only bought it for $30 originally. I thought I thought that was like the early access price. No, yeah, this game definitely worth it at, at a $30 price point, 100%. I didn't pick up that other skin pouch. 
Yeah, I literally opened up those skin pouches so I could pick up that skin pouch bug, man. You see how my brain works, dude? It doesn't. It just doesn't. I'm the guy, the building's on fire, right, chat? And I'm like, damn, I gotta go down the river, get some, get a bucket of water to put out this fire. I walk down, I get the bucket of water, I come back, and I'm standing there with the bucket, like, what the fuck was I doing with this bucket of water again? <laughs> oh, dude. Does anybody else's brain work like that? Because sometimes I feel like I got a problem. I mean, I, I do it a lot because, like, when I'm streaming and stuff, it's so easy to lose your train of thought, like, while you're training. Because, you know, all it takes is one person in chat to say something while you're doing something else. And then your mind, your, your whole, your whole everything changes. Like, your, your train of thought is completely somewhere else. And then I'll, like, come back and I'll be like, the fuck was I just doing, dude? And then, but the good thing is I got chat. Like, I got you guys so I can be like, chat, what the hell was I just doing? And then somebody will be like, oh, you were building this thing. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, right now I know I'm building the smelter. You know, I had to go get the the resources for that. Boom, smelter is built, baby. So you just feed Solophyte into that bad boy? That looks like... Like, those turtle shells don't look like turtle shells. So that looks like some shit from, like, Stranger Things or something. has. <laughs> All right, we got Solophyte here that we could we could do up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna activate that bad boy right now though. We'll hold off on that. We got that built though, because our goal right now is to build a few of these uh, new contraptions. Now, does can anybody tell me? This is the spear launcher. So, do you, like, man this and shoot it, or is it, like, automated? Because that'd be cool if it was, like, a fucking turret, dude. That'd be really cool. Oh, it does. Yeah, it looks like an egg from Alien. It does. Yeah. Zachary, thank you so much for the super chat, too. I appreciate it. All the time my brain seems to go blank. It <laughs> happens way too much. Only shoots in one direction. Oh, is this tripwire? I thought this was like power. Yeah, I, 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 now I see. Yeah, tripwire. Hmm. It fires on its own, but it's manually reloaded. Okay. And then what else do we got? We got the spotlight. Now, what is this thing? Check. Can anybody tell me? Is this just like for visual stuff? Because that's a lot of bone. I mean, I got a lot of bone, but I don't. I don't see the point of making this, especially if it's just like some kind of like visual alter. Teleport. A teleporter? Really? Is the meta way to travel? Oh. Why don't you get some? Go ask the kids. Huh? 
Oof. I didn't know there was a teleporter, guys. I don't even know where a good place to put that would be. Maybe on the other side of the island? Oh, you gotta complete the artifact? Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't have the artifact done yet. Um, alright, let's see what else do we got. Um, then there's this thing. Another bone. So is this another artifact thing? I got the ancient armor. Yeah, we have ancient armor. The enemy deflector. The blade chop. Man, some of this stuff is crazy. What the hell is an enemy deflector? Oh, so we, we, we got... That's, yeah, enemy deflector sounds kind of OP, chat. That sounds really OP. Hopefully it's not as OP as it sounds. But yeah, look at our little humble boat. We got it. We definitely got to get some base expansion going on here. I'm uh, not exactly sure how we're gonna do it. Maybe up. Gonna build, go up with the base. Um, but we're gonna have to figure something out, chat. We're gonna have to figure something out. Yeah, I don't have the blade chopper thing yet, though. But all right, guys, we're gonna end this episode here. Uh, I do appreciate you all for coming and hanging out today. I will be doing one more stream uh, later on tonight. Uh, I think we're gonna play. Dying Light 2. I think that's on the... Uh... Yeah, I think that that's on the menu for tonight. So we're going to go. I'm going to go figure out dinner. And then... Uh... Again, I appreciate you all for coming and hanging out. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Remember, if you guys want more Sons of the Forest, all you got to do is smash that like button. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.